ब्रह्मांड पुराण पार्ट वन सेक्शन टू अनुसंग पाद चैप्टर एट गॉड ब्रह्मास मेंटल क्रिएशन गॉड सेजेस मेंस एंड ह्यूमन बीइंग्स क्रिएटेड सूता सेड Sutta said, even as he was meditating, the mental progeny were born along with those causes and effects arising out of his body. There cropped up Kshetragas, individual souls of the Kshetra, cosmic body of this intelligent person, that is Brahma. Thereafter, he was desirous of creating thousands and thousands of the four groups of living entities these the devas the asuras the pitras and the human beings prajapati engaged himself therein and meditated upon the creation while meditating thus an effort arising out of his tamas constituent was involved so at the outset the asuras were born as his sons from prajapati's lines Asu is considered by scholars as the vital breath. Therefore, those who were born of it were Asuras. The footnote says a noteworthy, a noteworthy derivation of Asura as contrasted with the usual Asura. He discarded that physical body whereby the Asuras had been created. That physical body discarded by him immediately became night. Since that physical body had the tamas element predominant, the night too, consisting of three yamas, watches of night of the duration of the three hours each, became tamo bahula, one in which darkness prevails. Therefore, at night the subjects, people, are themselves enveloped by darkness after creating the asuras he adopted another body that was unmanifest with the sattva element predominant within it then he engaged himself with it as the lord joined himself to it he felt very happy thereafter from his shining face the devatas gods and goddesses were born since they were born of the refulgent face Divyata, they are glorified as devas. The root div is used in the sense of to play. To play. The root div is used in the sense of to play. The footnote says correct etymology. Div means both to play and to shine. Therefore. The devas were born of his divine shining body and called devatas. After creating the devas, he discarded that divine body. That physical body discarded by him became day. Therefore, people worship the devas with holy rites performed during the daytime. After creating the devas, he adopted another body. He adopted another body that was solely constituted by the sattva element and engaged himself therein. The Lord meditated upon those sons, considering them like father of fatherly nature. The Pitras were born of that body in the juncture of night and day. Therefore, those Pitras and Devas, that state of being, Pitras is declared about them. He discarded that body whereby the Pitras were created. The body that had been discarded by him forthwith became the twilight. Hence the daytime is considered as belonging to the Devas and the night is remembered as belonging to the Asuras. The body 
that belongs to the pitras and that is in between those two is the most important hence the devas the asuras the sages and the human beings while practicing yoga worship that body which is in between dawn and morning daybreak hence brahmanas perform sandhya at the junction of the night and day thereafter brahma engaged himself in another body of his that body which the lord created mentally was solely constituted by the rajas element they the progeny so created are his sons through the mind since they were begotten prajananat they became prajas subjects since he meditated before creation mananat they are called manushyas men they became well known as prajas because because they were procreated after creating the subjects again he discarded his own body that body discarded by him became the moonlight immediately hence the subjects become delighted when the moonlight comes out thus these physical bodies discarded by that noble souled person immediately became night day twilight and moonlight the footnote says 55 22 to 27 summarizes the four main creation from god brahma's body and their other features as follows the moonlight the twilight and the day these three are constituted solely of the sattva element the night is constituted of tamas only hence that is niyamika that is niyamika that which checks restraints and restricts the footnote says he amended as triyamika consisting of three yamas as in verse 6 above vayu purana 9.22 as identical verse also reads triyamika creation born from brahma's part of the body when discarded his body transformed into prevailing gunas asuras loins and vital breath night tamas devas shining face day predominant sattva pitras mind juncture of day and night pure sattva human beings mind moonlight but dawn in other puranas rajas so the devas were created by means of the shining divine body with pleasure and sportiveness through the face mouth since their birth was during the daytime they are powerful during the daytime since the lord created the asuras at night from his loins through the vital breaths and as they were born during the night they are invincible during the night these following with the moonlight the night the day and the twilight these alone become the causes of origin of all future devas men's human beings along with the asuras in all the manvantaras that had passed by and that have not yet come since these four spread and shine there the water is called ambhas the root bha is used in the sense of spreading and shining the footnote says popular derivation of ambhas after creating the waters the lord created the devas the danavas the human beings the pitras and various kinds of other subjects the lord discarded that body the moonlight and attained another physical body predominantly constituted of rajas and tamas thereafter he engaged himself therein he united himself to it therefore he created in darkness those who were overwhelmed by hunger those created beings overwhelmed by hunger attempted 
to seize the waters those among them who said we shall protect these waters are remembered as rakshasas those night walkers demons who felt hunger within themselves and who said let us destroy the waters let us be delighted in our mutual company became yakshas and guhyakas of ruthless action due to that work the root raksha is considered to have meaning to protect the root kshi has the meaning to destroy since they protected rakshanath they were called rakshasas since they destroyed shapanath they are called yakshas on seeing them the ruthless yakshas the intelligent self possessed lord became displeased due to this displeasure his hairs became shivered those shivered hairs moved up and ascended again and again those hairs that dropped off from the head moved and crawled up they are considered vyala because they were originally balas or valas hairs since they dropped off hinatvat they are remembered ahis serpents the footnote says another derivation of vyala vala and ahi he generally ahi is derived as follows a han in sa cha dit ano rasvascha hindi kosha apte sanskrit hindi kosha page 134 they are pan they are pannagas because they moved and wrinkled the state of being sarpas is due to the fact that they crawled their abode of repose is in the earth under the sun the moon and the clouds the footnote says 55.37 to 41 describe the creation of various tribes of demigods and gives popular etymologies of pishacha and gandharva the text surya chandra mamsau ghanaha is obscure vayu purana in an identical verse reads surya chandra masaro maso radaha below the sun and the moon the terrible fiery fetus born of his brahma's anger entered in the form of poison in those serpents who were born along with them after creating the serpents out of his anger a set of terrible beings whose diet was flesh and who were furious by nature were created they had the twiny color since they had been born bhutatva they are remembered as bhutas and as they are and as they ate flesh pishitas sanat they were called pishachas even as he brahma was singing words the gandharvas were born as his sons the root dhai is recited by poets in the sense of drinking since they were born drinking the musical words they are remembered as gandharvas after creating these eight divine beings he created chandas prasodi vedas as he pleased chandataha he created the birds through his age vayasa after creating the birds he created the groups of animals he created goats out of his mouth and the sheep out of his chest brahma created the cows from his belly and the horses donkeys gavayas a species of ox deer camels 
boars and dogs along with the elephants from his sides as well as feet other species of animals too were created the medicinal herbs and plants and creepers with fruits and roots were born out of his hairs formerly at the beginning of his kalpa at the advent of the treta yuga he created the five types of medicinal herbs and then engaged himself in the sacrifices the cow the goat the man the sheep the horse the mool and the donkey these are remembered as seven rural gramya domesticated animals there are other seven forest animals the beasts of prey the tigers the elephants the monkeys the birds as the fifth of the set the aquatic animals as the sixth ones and the reptiles as the seventh ones the footnote says strangely enough the purana includes the human species among domesticated animals the buffaloes the gavaya oxen and the camels the cloven footed animals the sharabha the eight footed fabulous animal the elephant with monkey as the seventh of this set are the forest animals through his first face mouth he created the following these the gayatri the rik the trivarta stoma and rathantara and agnishtoma among the yajnas the footnote says 55.5253 give the creation of vedic literature vedic meters and special sacrifices from the mouth or faces of brahma three vartas stoma a threefold stoma in which at first the three first verses of each trika of rigveda 9.11 are sung together then the second verses and lastly the third verses rathantara the verses to be sung according to sama music are rigveda 7.32.22 to 23 abhi twa sura etc through his right hand southern face mouth he created the yajurveda hymns the trishtuva meter the 15th stoma hymn and the brihat saman hymn through his backward western face mouth he created the saman hymns and jagati meter the 17th stoma hymn the vairupya and atiratra part of jyotishtoma sacrifices through his fourth face mouth he created the 21st stoma that is him the atharva veda the attoryama and the anushtub meter along with vairaja the footnote says attoryama is a soma sacrifice and amplification of atiratra sacrifice according to tandya bra it is so called as its performance secures whatever one desires it is well known that after creating the great cloud well known as parjanya the holy lord created lightning thunder clouds and the red colored rainbows he created the rik yajus and saman mantras for the accomplishment of yajnas the living beings both high and low were born of the limbs of brahma the prajapati lord of the subjects who was creating at the outset the fourfold set ways the devas the sages the pitras and the human beings created the living beings both mobile and immobile after creating yakshas 
the pishachas the gandharvas the apsaras and human beings the kinnaras the rakshasas the birds the animals the deer and the serpents he created the avyayas changeless ones and vyayas the changeables as well as the mobile and the immobile beings even when created again and again these beings adopted only the karmas that had been committed before the previous nature the previous natures and features such as violence and non-violence softness of heart and ruthlessness virtue and evil as well as truth and falsehood all these were adopted by them in their later creations hence they are liked by them the footnote says as noted above this purana emphasizes the law of karma the end of akalpa does not destroy the karma of an individual it was brahma the creator himself who ordained the diversity in the great elements and their allotment to different physical bodies afflicted by the sense organs indriya teshu the footnote says if the reading indriya teshu is adopted the meaning is and their allotment to different physical bodies and the objects of the various sense organs some men say that the manly endeavor is the sole cause of achievement some men say that it is the karma previous actions other brahmanas say that it is the destiny the bhuta chintakas those who think about the elements perhaps the charvakas say that it is nature and latent instinct but real thinkers know that there is no difference or superiority among the manly endeavor previous action and the destiny the same is understood through the nature of the outcome of fruits of actions etc some say this is thus and not thus this is both nor is it both but persons abiding by sattva and having impartial vision say that the universe is the object of its own activity the footnote says apparently the view anischita anischita tavada of sanjaya velatti putta in samanna phala sutta digha nikaya page 51 nalanda edition when asked about the existence of the other world he states what i think the purana probably voice the view of syadavada it is only through the words of the vedas that the great lord created at the outset the different forms and features of the living beings and the development of the created ones the names pertaining to the sages and the visions belonging to the devas these the unborn lord assigns to those who are born at the end of the night chapter 9 the progeny of rudra birth of bhrigu and others suta said by means of his mind the lord then created five kartras doers or agents of creation viz rudra dharma manas mind ruchi and akruti all these are mighty armed and they are the causes of the sustenance of subjects when the medicinal herbs decline again and again it is rudra who sustains them and revives them by those who seek benefits the lord was well worshipped with whatever fruits and medicinal herbs were available to them he that god is called triambaka as in times of impending 
extinction of medicinal herbs etc sacrifice is offered to him by sages with three kapalas plates or potsherds containing of cakes sacred to him rudra it has already been mentioned by me that the three vedic meters gayatri trishtup and jagati are the sources of origin of the ambakas that is kapalas along with the vanaspati that is the medicinal herbs these three meters join together and assume unity that is when they are used in mantras at the time of the consecration of the purodasha offerings that purodasha is infused with the virility of each of these mantras hence the purodasha is remembered as three kapala having three vessels to hold it the footnote says triambaka means one having three eyes and is an epithet of shiva here it is identified with purodasha therefore the purodasha is triambaka as well hence the lord to whom this purodasha is offered is remembered as triambaka dharma sustains all the subjects manas is remembered as that which caused knowledge akriti is the form of splendid beauty ruchi is remembered as one who in q who inculcates shraddha faith thus these protectors of the subjects are the causes of the sustenance of the subjects even as he continued the creative activity for the sake of the multiplication of the subjects those created subjects did not increase at all by any means therefore he racked his intellect that should arrive at a decisive conclusion then he saw the tamas element moving within himself thanks to its own action it had abandoned rajas and sattva and was existing by itself thereupon due to that sorrow the lord of the universe felt grieved he pulsed out the tamas element and afterwards covered it with rajas that tamas pushed out by him gave birth gave birth to a pain gave birth to a pair that tamas pushed out by him gave birth to a pair on account of his unrighteous conduct himsa violence and shoka grief were born when that pair in the form of varana covering up was born the lord became delighted he resorted to this from a half of the body of the lord who was delighted within himself thus a woman conducive to great welfare and charming and fascinating to all living beings came out that beautiful looking lady was indeed created from prakriti by him as he was desirous of progeny and was called shatarupa and she was again and again called so it was then that the subjects were born of that noble soul being in the middle of treta yuga as has already been mentioned by me to you in section 1 prakriya pada when those subjects created by that intelligent self possessed being did not increase in number he created other mental sons similar to himself he created these nine mental sons viz bhrigo angiras marichi pulastya pulaha krato daksha atri and vashishta in the purana these are decisively called the nine brahmas because they were like brahma the creator unto all beings of controlled souls having the atman as their source of origin then brahma created again dharma who was delightful and pleasant unto all living beings as well as the prajapati ruchi 
these two were the elder of all ancient ones he created from his intellect dharma who was delightful and pleasant unto all living beings he who is named ruchi was born of the mind of the lord of unmanifest birth sage bhrigu was born of the heart of the lord whose source of origin was water brahma created daksha from his vital breath and marichi from his eyes he created rudra also known as nila lohita in the form of abhimana prestige honor he created angiras from his head and atri from the ears from his udana vital breath prana he created pulastya and pulaha from vyana vashishta was born of samana and he created kratu from apana thus these 12 are remembered as the sons of brahma at the beginning of creation of subjects dharma was the first born among those devatas bhrigu and others who had been created are remembered as brahmarshis brahminical sages they are the ancient householders and dharma virtue was initially established by them in the kalpa these 12 give birth to subjects again and again their 12 races are divine and equipped with divine qualities they perform holy rites and have that is procreate progeny they are adorned honored by great sages when the progeny created by dharma and other great sages who themselves had been created by him did not multiply the intelligent and self possessed lord became slightly enveloped by tamas and afflicted by grief just as brahma was enveloped by tamas elements so also in the case of his sons two another tamas element issued forth adharma is in the nature of return flow and himsa violence is inauspicious by nature then when he was obstructed and the nature of the covering was manifest brahma discarded his own shining physical body after dividing his own body into two he became a man by one half by another half he became a woman and she was shatarupa she was the prakriti the mother of all living beings and manifested thus because the lord was creating out of desire the footnote says the sankhya pair of prakriti and purusha are represented here as shatarupa and manu the <coughs> the terms vairaja purusha manu and samrat are used as synonyms <coughs> with her grandeur she pervaded the firmament and the earth and remained steady that was the former body of brahma who stayed enveloping the firmament the half that was created as a man became shatarupa that divine lady performed a very difficult penance for a hundred thousand years and obtained purusha of brilliant fame as her husband indeed he is called manu the purusha the earlier son of the self born lord 71 sets of four yugas constitute what is called his manvantara reign of a manu after obtaining as his wife shatarupa who was not born of any womb the purusha sported with her hence it is called rati sexual dalliance the first union took place in the beginning of the kalpa brahma created virat the immense being that virat became the purusha he accompanied by shatarupa is remembered as vairaja manu and samrat emperor that purusha manu the vairaja created subjects begot progeny from vairaja the purusha shatarupa gave birth to two heroic sons they were priyavrata and uttanapada 
these two sons were the most excellent sons that persons possessing sons could expect she gave birth to two daughters also of great fortune from them these subjects were born they were the divine lady named akuti and auspicious lady prasuti both of them were auspicious the lordly sons of the self born lord gave prasuti to daksha he gave akuti to ruchi the prajapati an auspicious pair was born of akuti as the progeny of ruchi the mental son of brahma they were the twins yajna and dakshina twelve sons were born to yajna and dakshina they were the devas named yamas in the swayambhuva manvantara they were the sons of twins viz yajna and dakshina hence they are remembered as yamas the footnote says derivation of yama the gods of the swayambhuva manvantara the two groups of brahma are remembered viz ajitas and shukras the yamas who have the appellation devokas heaven dwellers sarkam ambulated the former lord daksha begot of prasuti the daughter of swayambhuva manu 24 daughters who became mothers of the world all of them were highly fortunate all of them were lotus eyed all of them were wives of yogins and all of them were yogic mothers all of them were expounders of brahman and all of them were the mothers of the universe lord dharma accepted the following 13 daughters of daksha as his wives viz shraddha lakshmi driti tushti pushti medha kriya buddhi lajja vasu shanti siddhi and kirti as the 13th these doorways of his creative activity were ordained by the self born lord the others that remained were the 11 younger daughters of beautiful eyes viz sati khyati sambhuti smriti priti kshama sannati anasuya urja swaha and swadha other great sages accepted them as wives they were rudra bhrigu marichi angiras pulaha kratu pulastya atri vashishtha agni and pitras he gave in marriage sati to bhava and khyati to bhrigu to marichi he gave sambhuti and smriti to angiras to pulastya he gave prati and kshama to pulaha to kratu he gave sannati and the daughter named anasuya to atri he gave urja to vashishtha and swaha to agni the fire god he gave swadha to the pitras listen from me their children all these were highly fortunate ladies their subjects children obediently followed them in all manvantaras till the time of ultimate annihilation of the world shraddha gave birth to kama and darpa arrogance is remembered as the son of lakshmi the footnote says 55.58 to 67 personify virtues and vices and state their parentage out of these 55.63 to 68 describe the tamasa creation niyama restraint was the son of driti courage santosha contentment is mentioned as the son of tushti satisfaction labha labha again was the son of pushti nourishment and shruta learning was the son of medha intellect dama restraint of sense organs and sama restraint of the mind are mentioned as the sons of kriya activity bodha understanding and 
അപ്രമാദ ആബ്സെൻസ് ഓഫ് എറേഴ്സ് അപ്രമാദ ആബ്സെൻസ് ഓഫ് എറേഴ്സ് വർ ദ സൺസ് ഓഫ് ബുദ്ധി ഇൻ്റലക്റ്റ് വിനായ മോഡേസ്റ്റി വാസ് ദ സൺ ഓഫ് ലജ്ജ ബാഷ്ഫുൾനെസ് വ്യാവസായ എൻ്റർപ്രൈസ് വാസ് ദ സൺ ഓഫ് വസു ക്ഷേമ വെൽഫെയർ വാസ് ദ സൺ ഓഫ് സന്തി ശാന്തി ട്രാങ്ക്വിലിറ്റി സുഖ ഹാപ്പിനെസ് വാസ് ദ ബോൺ ഓഫ് വാസ് ബോൺ ഓഫ് സിദ്ധി അച്ചീവ്മെൻറ്റ് യശസ് ഫേം വാസ് ദ സൺ ഓഫ് കീർത്തി റിനോൺ ദീസ് വെർ ദ സൺസ് ഓഫ് ധർമ്മ കാമസ് ലാവ് സൺ ഹർഷ ഡിലൈറ്റ് വാസ് ബോൺ ഓഫ് ദ നോവൽ ലേഡി സിദ്ധി അച്ചീവ്മെൻറ്റ് ത്രൂ അധർമ്മ ഇവിൽ ഹിംസ വയലൻസ് ഗേവ് ബർത്ത് ടു ദ ടു ചിൽഡ്രൻ നിക്രതി ഡിസോണസ്റ്റി വിക്കഡ്നെസ് ആൻഡ് അമൃത ഫോൾസുഡ് ടു ട്വീൻസ് വെർ ബോൺ ഓഫ് നിക്രതി ആൻഡ് അമൃത വിസ് ഭയ ഫിയർ നരക ഹെൽ മായ ഇല്യൂഷൻ ആൻഡ് വിദന വേദന പെയിൻ through maya through maya through maya maya gave birth to mrityu death that takes away all living beings then dukha misery was born of vedana was born of vedana through rourava hell vyadhi sickness gave birth to jara old age ശോക ഗ്രീഫ് ക്രോധ ആംഗർ ആൻഡ് അസുവ ജലസി ത്രൂ മൃത്യു ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ റിമെമ്പർഡ് ആസ് ദ ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ റിമെമ്പർഡ് ആസ് കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് അധർമ്മ ഇവിൽ വിത്ത് മിസരി ആസ് ദ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ് എൻഡ് ദർ വൈഫ് സൺ എവ്രി വൺ ഈസ് റിമെമ്പർഡ് ആസ് ഡെത്ത്ലെസ് ദാസ് ദിസ് താമസ ക്രിയേഷൻ ടുക് ബർത്ത് വിത്ത് അധർമ്മ ആസ് ദ കൺട്രോളിംഗ് വൺ നീല ലോഹിത was commanded by brahma beget prajini he contemplated on his wife sati and created sons the footnote says 55.68 to 80 describes 55.68 to 80 describe the rodri srishti create creation by rudra and he was asked by brahma to stop creation as he was procreating immortal progeny and rudra complied they were neither superior to him nor inferior they were his mental sons on a par with himself he created thousands and thousands of such children wearing elephant hides all of them had these characteristics and features all of them were on a par with himself in form brilliance strength and learning they were tawny colored they had quivers and matted hair they were dark blue red they were dark blue red in complexion they were devoid of tufts they had no hairs they were killers with eyes by casting a look they had kapalas skills with them they had huge beautiful forms and hideous cosmic forms some occupied chariots and wore coats of mail they were defenders wearing armors they had hundreds and thousands of arms they were able to go through the firmament earth and heaven they had big heads eight fangs two tongues and three eyes some were eaters of rice some eaters of flesh some drinkers of ghee and some of soma juice some had penises of great size fierce bodies and blue necks some had fierce fury they had quivers and armors bows swords and leather shields some were seated some were running some yawning and some occupying seats some were reciting the vedas some performing 
japas, yogic practices and meditations. Some were blazing, some were showering, some shining and some smoking. Some were enlightened, some were wakeful, alert and enlightened. Some had the property of Brahma, some had the vision of Brahman. They had blue necks and thousand eyes. All of them were walking over the earth. They were invisible to all living beings. They had great yogic power, virility and splendor. They were shouting and running. On seeing Rudra creating these excellent devas with these qualities and features in thousands even before the expiry of the period of a Yama, Brahma told him, do not create subjects like these. The subjects should not be create, created on a par with oneself or superior to oneself. Welfare unto you. Create other subjects vulnerable to death. Subjects devoid of death do not begin to perform holy rites. Thus addressed he, Rudra, said to him, Brahma, I will not create progeny subject to death and old age. Prosperity unto you. I am standing by, that is, cease to procreate. You please create, O Lord. These hideous and bluish red colored subjects who had been created by me in thousands and thousands have come out of my own self. These devas will be known by the name of Rudras. They are highly powerful. The, those, Rudra, those Rudranis are well known over the earth and firmament. Enumerated in the Vedic text Shatarudra, they will become worthy of Yajnas. All of them will partake of the Yajnas along with the groups of Devas. Till the end of the Yuga, they will remain on being worshipped along with those Devas born of Chandas, Vedas or born as they are pleased in the Manvantaras. On being told thus by Mahadeva, the Lord, on being told thus by Mahadeva, that Lord Brahma, the delighted Lord of subjects, replied to the terrible Rudra, O Lord, welfare unto you, let it be as spoken by you. When it was permitted by Brahma, everything happened that way. Thenceforth, the Lord Sthanu did not beget subjects. He remained celibate till the ultimate annihilation. He is remembered by learned man as Sthanu because it was said by him, thus I am standing by. All these qualities are present in Shankara, viz. knowledge, penance, truthfulness, glorious prosperity, virtue, detachment and comprehension to, of the comprehension of the self. He excels all the devas and sages along with the asuras by means of his splendor. Hence the Lord is remembered as Mahadeva, great God. He excels the devas through his glorious prosperity, the great asuras through his power, all the sages through his knowledge and all the living beings through yoga. It is thus that Mahadeva is bowed to by all the devas. After creating the subjects devoid of enterprise, he refrained from creation.